Hey guys, what's going on? That's right. What is going on? Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the arcade. Man, it's been a long fucking week. I know I've been I've been, been out here for a minute. School is kicking my ass. I'm becoming a radiation therapist. And um had a midterm today which I passed. Uh, I don't know I don't know how I passed it, but I did. Um Man, it's it's been it's been real, man. It really has been real. And um Yeah. It's uh it's something to uh Ah uh, what can I say? To relish in. You know, it's uh Look, I tell everybody, it's short-term sacrifice, long-term success. And that's what we have to do here. And I'm going to share my story with you guys because I'm sure that you guys understand that, yo, times are hard. And you got to fucking make do. You got to push yourself through. So if you're out there, chat, and you're fucking busting your ass and, you know, give me a W out there if you're busting your ass. You know what I'm saying? Um, Because, uh... It's it's stuff out there, you know what I'm saying? It's you gotta, you gotta do your thing. But let's just focus here. You know, I've been um I said going to school, doing my thing, and um, it's been difficult as fuck. It has not been easy. You know, family life is fucking tough. Expectations are high. And um you still have to keep the okie doke going. And um I'm old as fuck. I'm 46 years old, but no, I don't, I don't, I don't care. Like, I'm going to school to, you know, to gain a different type of education from what I was prior to before, um, for my corporate career, and um, yeah, man, it's uh, you can see the desk right, right there behind me. So I have my stuff. Oh, shit! I just dropped my motherfucking water. <laughs> God damn. Fuck. Goddamn handle fucking broke. You can't fucking plan this motherfucking shit. God damn, chat. Clear off. No, this is not a Stanley. Because if it was, I'm sure that that would have not fucking happened. God damn. I just tightened this motherfucker earlier, like within an hour ago. So, I had just broke my fucking cup. Yo, I tell you, I'm fucking tired, man. Like, sleep is, has fucking been... Uh, I haven't been succeeding in getting sleep. So, that's that's broke. That's number one. Number two, the chirp is fucking gone. I got the fucking goddamn thing off the fucking wall. I had to put my daughter on my shoulders because, listen, I'm vertically challenged, okay? I'm not the, you know, the, I may not be the tallest person, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, that's what you got family for. So, you know, the, the biggest question is how many Puerto Ricans it took to take down a fire detector? Well, it took, that took two Puerto Ricans to take down a fire detector, so now you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, woo. The only good thing about this is because I didn't spill nothing on the floor. This thing is actually spill proof. Has like a little gasket right there with the straws at, which I think is super smart. I don't think Stanley's have that. Hey, but if you're Stanley, you want to support a motherfucker. Stanley, come come at me because I need a new fucking jug. God damn it. I'm used to this slip sipping. I'm going to have to get another one. Fuck. But, man, yeah. So, that goes to show you some real shit. Some real story time shit, right? So, let's go into story time. I think I'm going to start that from now on. Do a kind of a, a story time type of thing. Uh, with you guys. And have some fun with it. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah. Yeah. There's been so much going on in the interweb. Um, you know, 
politically just the world is on fire so many fucking people are at war and shit like that and um yeah you know it's it's been rough it's been really rough but guess what we're gonna do our fucking thing anyway we're gonna make sure it should happen and then um we're gonna have some fun with this motherfucker but in the meantime we're gonna go over some reaction shits, some reaction videos, you know what I'm saying? Some stuff that I found I'm gonna go over. I like food. Today I cooked some bomb shit today. That my daughter, she was coming back home, she smelled it from outside type shit. You know, so I made some fried pork chops, chuletas, with some nice yellow rice, with a garden picked salad from my fucking garden. Okay? That's right, I have a fucking garden. It's right out this fucking door. Fresh kale, okay? Fresh cucumbers, fresh tomatoes. I even put some fresh bell peppers in there. Then I made my own fucking kind of vinaigrette sauce with some olive oil, some oregano, a little bit of salt. I put some basil in that motherfucker. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, don't forget the little bit of fucking Parmesan cheese in there. Mix that bastard up. Put in, oh man, the salad was slamming. And it tastes. So good because it was so fresh. Like, the, the cucumbers weren't waxy. You know when you buy a cucumber and it's fucking waxy? What is, what is that about? That's the shit. That's the the pesticides or herbicides they put on these fucking things. You know what I'm saying? So to pick, you know, my own f vegetables and, and shit and fruits from the garden. Bro. You can't get it. I ate super fresh today. You know what I'm saying? No doubt, I got you going to be saying, hey, the, the fried chuleta is a bad thing. And I, I get that, but, you know, I cut that back. I haven't been, you know, frying chuleta like that a lot. So, um, I've been, I've been, I've been calming down with the fried chuletas and stuff like that. But the rice came a banger, though. The rice, like, everybody was like, okay, get seconds. The chuletas, two people going crazy for the chuleta seconds, too. But there's, there's no leftovers for tomorrow's but that way. No whatsoever. But with that being said, you know. I've always thought, my family has always told me, right, story time, my family has always told me, hey, why don't you open a restaurant, right, and I always said no, and I'm going to tell you why, because the way I cook is with love, and I don't like to skimp out on ingredients, I don't like to change my recipe for people, like, if you're fucking have allergies so what hey chat the riches what's going on <laughs> yo what's up um i'm sorry i got so much i got caught up in story time riches yo if you haven't followed with the riches yet please do he's a bomb um i haven't you know my family always tells me hey get a food truck open up a restaurant and i don't want to and i guess i'm gonna tell you why I cook with love. I'm not going to change the recipe. I'm not going to change my ingredients. If you fucking have allergies, you're fucked. Don't come to my house. Um, if you're vegan, I'm not, I'm not not serving you fucking meat in your plate. So don't come to my crib. I'm not, I'm not adapting to it. I know if I had my own fucking place, that's how it would be. It's either if you're not eating cheese or something on it, then don't, don't come to my spot. There's not for you. Find your own spot. You're not, you're not my fucking audience then. You know what I'm saying? So... That's not to be fucking rude. It's just to be honest and be truthful and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's how that's how life fucking is, really. So, with that being said, you know, you just have to go after what you want. And cooking for me is a joy. It's a great hobby. It takes me away from. It gets me in my zen moment. And I like that. And I don't want cooking to become ever, ever a job for me. Does that make sense? I never want cooking to become a job for me. Because in the day I, it becomes a job and I'm making the same shit every time. I don't mind making the same shit, like, you know, throughout the month or like, you know, you know, throughout several months of the year. That's fine. But if I got to make the same thing every fucking day, I would get bored. The same menu every fucking day. And there's, don't get me wrong, 
there's a thing about consistency, you know, having a small menu. Because I would have a very small procured menu. Um, maybe a monthly special. You know what I'm saying? But it'll be very small, very focused. It would not be like the Cheesecake Factory with thousands of fucking pages. You know what I'm saying? And no, I, I, you know, very, like I said, very small, very curated. Um, procured great ingredients. But I don't, I don't want to become a job. I want to become joy. I wouldn't mind doing a pop up. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I wouldn't mind doing a pop up shop. You know what I'm saying? Have like a truck every, like maybe once a month, boom. Traveling around America just doing that shit. Just like how these these dudes did it in that movie. They were making Cubanos with John Leguizamo and Happy from Marvel movies. Uh, it was a great freaking movie. I love that movie. And they bought the truck and they went to go in the truck from Captain California to Miami. And so, on the way, they stopped and they were using Instagram to boost their shit up. That I wouldn't mind doing. If you're out there, you got a food truck. Someone do that. I would love, and then come to Atlanta, I would love to support you. Um, I wouldn't mind doing that, though. Like, you know, having a food truck and, you know, uh, a pop-up shop where we do it maybe a four-day special, five-day special, maybe a four-day, like, you know, maybe a long weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, etc. Maybe just a weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And it's just, a, you know, pop-up and whatever. we sell out, we sell out, and then the next day is next day. And um, no one knows where the fuck we're going to pop up at until we pop up. Damn, that would be so dope. So, chat, if you think that's dope, put, that, put, put, put a big W, like, yo, for the win. And see if, um, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, that's something to think about. Hmm. That's really something to think about. And chat, remind me, because I forget, I got so much shit going in my head. My wife stays saying I got 27 people in my head. And uh, it's 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 crazy. It's, it's getting crazy. <laughs> but man, like, you know, so how are you doing, chat? Like, you know, you guys got to be doing well. I hope you guys are healthy. Um, be healthy. You know, be kind to people. You know. All right, let's get into pet peeves. My pet peeve. I live in Atlanta. I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York. You know what I'm saying? I'm just can't tell you so the Brooklyn accent I got. Yo. Um, but you're from bed Brooklyn. I grew up in East New York, Brooklyn. Um... Moved to Atlanta over 20 years ago and raised my family here. And uh, there's some pet peeves I have about Atlanta. And it's about the traffic. It's about the driving. Now, all across America, driving is horrible. doesn't matter what city or state you come from. Driving across America is horrible. But in Atlanta, there's certain things that bother me. The way people don't know how to fucking merge is one. Let me tell you something, Atlanta. I need you to learn how to fucking merge. It's simple. It really is. Let me run you through how to fucking merge on the highway. Okay? So, you're coming onto the exit, right? And there's two lanes usually when you come on, you know, trying to get on the ex into the highway. And then, the dotted lines in the middle that separate the lanes, they disappear. They vanish, right? And then what you're supposed to do is either you get in front of me or you get behind me and we form a new single line in this new lane that's beginning to narrow because the solid lines next to us are narrowing as we go forward. But not in the ladder, motherfuckers. In the ladder? These motherfuckers want to keep on riding next to you. Like the dotted lines are still fucking there. And the roadway is fucking narrowing. So now the both of you are still next to each other. And half your cars are over the fucking shoulders. Why? Who taught you how to fucking drive? Or who the fuck didn't, obviously? You're supposed to get in front of me. Or behind me. I don't own the fucking road. If I let you go in front of me. Or if I go in front of you, guess what happens? Traffic doesn't fucking slow down. We keep it moving. Not only that. <laughs> the entryway and the exitway for the highways 
are the length that they are. So you can catch up with traffic when you're coming on. That's why they're so long. The goal is for you is to catch up with the speed limit that the rest of the traffic is moving so you can fit in to traffic at the right time. But if you're on the entry ramp and traffic is going 65, 70, and you're going 40, my man, you're fucking up the whole thing of us playing double just trying to get in the lanes. You have to go faster. The same thing coming off the lane. The purpose of it fucking being so long when you're exiting is to slow the fuck down. So you can properly get to the right turning lane you want to get into and properly fucking turn. Why am I giving you guys fucking traffic fucking description of what the fuck to do? It's crazy to me. But it's happening for fucking years. And I don't understand why. You gotta merge. Don't beep your horn at me because I, I got in front of you. You was next to me. Yes, people can't drive the richest at all. And I'm gonna tell you why they can't drive. You know why? Because we allow motherfuckers to get the license at 16 years old. So at 16, you can't drink. You can't fucking smoke. You know what I'm saying? You can't do shit. But you can get a license to drive a two-ton vehicle at high fucking speeds on the highway. And I'm telling you at 16 to make good decisions. You can't wipe your ass right yet at 16. And now I'm asking you to fucking make decisions. I got to take the headphones off because that makes no fucking sense to me. Not only that. You don't have to go to a driving school. Your brother, mother, sister, uncle, you know, they're the ones that teach you. And they're showing you their fucked up habits. What the fuck? And then you got some moron, right? At the DMV. They want to put you on the street. They put you in a fucking parking lot with cones and shit. Talking about go through the cones. Parking between the cones. And if you do that well enough, they give you the fucking license. What sense does that fucking make? That makes no fucking sense. You gonna tell me I went through some fucking cones. And now you're gonna give me a fucking piece of paper that says you can fucking drive now? And there's real fucking cars in the street? Yo. What the fuck are we doing? And I make now. <laughs> That's how I got my life. Yeah, I know they got your license. Yeah, exactly. Everybody got their fucking license that goddamn way. It's 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 insane. Like back home in New York, you know, we don't have that cone shit. I got put on the street, and I had to park near a fucking tree that was eating the fucking curb. Like the roots were eating the curb, and there was no curb. I had to park that shit. And they tried to trick me because there was a stop sign that a tree was covering and everybody was passing. I shouldn't have failed. And lucky enough, I, I got there. I was I was like later in the number on the num on the queue. So I was able to see that. My father was like, yo, pay attention. These kids are feeling could eat that, that, that stop sign. And I was like, say no more. I got you. When I came to that stop sign, full stop. That DMV person looked at me. Oh, you stopped. I was like, Yeah the fuck I did. Bah. Give my shit. Got it. And then my father asked me, do I want to drive home? I said, fuck no, you crazy? It's crazy out here. I ain't trying to drive home. I remember I had, I almost hit a bus. You know what I'm saying? I was by myself. I was whipping it. You know what I'm saying? My sister gave me her car. It was a, uh, a, a Pontiac Sunbird. And it, had, it was sky blue with pink trim. I didn't give a fuck. I'm whipping it. I'm not paying attention. Back then, there was no cell phones. I probably had a beeper and shit. You know what I'm saying? But I was whipping. I had the, I had the music mad loud. Had a sunroof. But it was more like a pop-up window. Because it didn't go back. It just hinged up and popped up. And the trimmer on that was pink too. So, yeah, it was a little fugazi. But listen, it was my first whip. I was, I was you know, I felt myself too much. And um, I'm whipping it. Whipping it. And I'm kind of speeding it through the, you know, around the projects in the street. 
on Murder Ave. And I was going a little too fast. And the and the NYC public bus, you know, <laughs> stopped. And I'm pressing the brake, but I ain't really pressed the brake that hard. And I see the bus getting closer. But the bus didn't move, and I was still moving. I had to slam them fucking brakes. I swear, I swear to God, I missed it. Like that much. That shit fucked me up. That shit fucked me up. Because one, I almost fucked some shit up. Two, I think I'm cool with a fucking sky blue fucking fucking Pontiac Sunbird with fucking pink trim around it. Like, yo, that was crazy. But that was, I got it for free. I had a free fucking car. I was whipping it. And the car would turn off. It wouldn't overheat. The car would just turn the fuck off. And then I had to pull over like 30 minutes to let it reset or something like that. And then it would start back up again. I remember I had to push that shit to the side of the road by myself. And just wait 30 minutes. I was chilling too. It was hot that summer though. And I would just sat there until the car was able to try. I kept on clicking and clicking. Start, got it back home. Yes. It's true. And um, it's... But that's that's the good old days, right? That's the days, that's the experience, that's the shit I can laugh about now. And um, I wouldn't change it for the world. I learned how to really drive with that car. Fuck that car. I didn't fuck it up, like, I didn't bang it up. But, you know, I was kind of whipping it kind of hard. I've had so many fucking cars in my life. It's insane. I, you know, I'm, I'm a car person. But I never had the car I've ever wanted. That's the only thing that fucking has always eluded me. I never got the car I've always wanted. And as much as I, I enjoy cars and I like cars, I come to the conclusion that as much as I like them, I love cars. I went to actually automotive high school as well to work on cars. That um, there hasn't been one that I say I want to love. That I have to have that particular car. I haven't. I don't think I have that. Like I like a bunch of shit. Like I do want to get me a Silverado truck. Yeah, it's a Chevy. Um, I'll fuck with their trucks. The GMCs as well. You know, that's just to have a truck. Cause I'm I'm in, I'm in the south. I'm in Georgia, so it's like you gotta have a truck, right? So, get a truck. I'll get the Yukon Denali. As a family vehicle, SUV. But these aren't things that I love. I'm getting them because I can see the use for them. Right? If I was going to get something I loved. The DB12. I love, I've always loved Aston Martins. It's the most sexiest fucking thing ever. They're just fucking gorgeous. Right? Just fucking gorgeous. And, you know. The DB12 is just, oh, what can I say, man? Just, the bitch is bad, man. The bitch is just bad. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm doing right now. And, um, freaking, it's just so fucking gorgeous. Let's see here. It's so fucking badass, the DB12. Whew. It's just simply fucking gorgeous. Look at that. You see that? Is that not amazing looking? Jesus Christ. This is gorgeous. Let's go to exterior. Whew. Let's see this shit. Mmm. God damn. God damn. This is the brand new joint. Interior is clean, but it's very modern, very contemporary. It gives you the necessities you need, but it's clean. It's just the elements. Look at how beautiful that shit is, bro. Let's do the beauty shots. Let's check this out. Look at that. 
chat. Look at these fucking seats. Look at that. I'm not sure what I got the back seats for. I'm not putting nobody back there. You know what I'm saying? But I like the red too. Um, we're going to see... That's what they show you on the exterior. Oof. This wide body, man. It's just sexy. It reminds me of a, of a of a fucking woman. You know what I'm saying? The curvature. I would I would get this fucking vehicle. You no, know because it's a touring car. I don't need to be super fast. I know I like speed, but I won't do it on the fucking highways. I won't do it on the public roads. Because that makes no sense to me. I, 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 it doesn't. You know, you're on a road with people. Obviously, you don't want to fucking drive. Who can't fucking merge? I don't know how how skilled they are, which most of them aren't. And they're driving these fucking commuter cars, pushing them to their fucking limits. Like they have some fashion, they don't. Nissan, Altimus. I'm talking to you. I'm looking right at you. Nissan Altimus. You're not fast. You have no handling skills. You are shitty. You're just going 100 miles an hour. Any car, if I put my foot on the pedal to the ground, is going to go 100 miles an hour. You can't handle. You know why? Because it was made as a commuter car. To fucking commute back and forth to fucking work. That's it. That's the fucking it. That's all you're supposed to fucking do. Go back and forth to work. You pushing that four cylinder like it's got fucking power and it fucking doesn't. You're not badass. Fucking Nissan Altima. Come at me. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. You're not cool when you're pushing that shit. It's bullshit. I'm sorry. I just got off focus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Whew. I'm sorry. I just, I just had to. I'm sorry. But do I, and we're not saying it. No one's really talking about it. Nissan Ultimus. You're driving around like you're a DB12, like you're a Corvette, like you got some fly shit. You got your shit from a buy here, pay here. Listen. It's not a fast car. It's not made that way. Don't get me wrong. Like these new cars, these new commuter cars, they give you the false sense of go like they handle well enough on the road to make you think you can go super fast with them. Because the manufacturers have gotten better to build you a better road car. But they're not meant to go fast, man. But they can't handle that shit. They can handle a straight line, but you whipping it like you're on the track. You're not on the fucking track. You're on I seventy five stuck in traffic. You're trying to switch fucking lanes, like why? I passed you three times because you kept on switching lanes. I stood in my lane, and because you got them moving, I passed you. You dumb fuck. I got another rant. Okay. People who buy Jeep Wranglers and uh, Ford Broncos. <sighs> People who buy Jeep Wranglers and Ford Broncos. I saw a chick on TikTok complaining. I bought her Jeep Wrangler. Alright. Complaining. That it does this thing that is known in the industry as the Duff Wobble. Okay. 
at a certain speed, that front end is like, yo. This other chick was complaining about the Ford Bronco. So I'm going to help out Ford and, and Jeep a little bit. Both. By telling these customers for you guys, I know you guys can't say this, right? Ford and, and, and Jeep, I, I know you guys can't say this. So I'm going to say it for you. These, these, these SUVs, right, are made for fucking off-road. The key word, off-road. It's a compound fucking word. Like I said about the Ultima was made for on the road shit. These motherfuckers over here is made for off the fucking road shit. It is a wild concept. So don't complain when the car can't go 70 miles an hour. Don't complain that you fucking hear wind noise or noise period. It is not made for that shit. If you want a silent fucking car, buy yourself a fucking Lexus. They're quiet as fuck. It's made that way because it's made on the luxury end of things. These are off-road fucking vehicles. Why would you buy something that you did no research on? And complain, oh, it rides so harsh. It's, it's wobbling, the death wobble. Motherfucker. You're not taking it off road. You take that shit off road. Take it to a mountain range. You're beating everybody. You're getting over. I see you next week because I'm gonna have to catch up to you. On the roadway, stay to the speed limit. Go 65 and be. You keep your ass in the right lane because I'm gonna pass you. Because you, why? Why would you want to go fast in this shit? It's not made that way. That's why they have multiple speakers in them too. So you can drown out the fucking road noise. Pump up your fucking music and the road noise is gone. But if you're looking for a plush, pillowy ride, these are not the vehicles for you. They're not. They're not. They're just not. Let's be real with that shit. I'm tired of these fucking people. Like, I like Jay Leno a lot. And Jay Leno says all the time he buys his cars based off the thing they were made for. He doesn't like cars that are a jack of all trades. I don't either. I never have. I, I I want a sports car. When I see fast SUVs, that bothers the fuck out of me. You put a big ass, you can put a big engine in anything. Don't get me wrong. I, I, growing up, I'd switch out a lot of engines and cars, and we did that shit. But when you put it on a, on a vehicle that's not made for it, your SUV was not designed, the chassis was not designed to fucking handle whipping shit around maybe the urus maybe the new ferrari fucking suv maybe some of the audi suvs and maybe some of the beamers you know i would get a proper car that was made properly for that particular thing suvs to me is just people moving and i hate when they make fake off-road shit the pathfinder back in my day was a great body on chassis rear wheel drive vehicle it was our front wheel drive and then they made it into this pussy mobile fucking pathfinder to a front wheel drive because people started buying so much of these off-road vehicles but then they could have complain about how it it was riding on the road it was shitty on the road but it was great it rode like what it's supposed to ride like rough Suspension wasn't soft. It was fucking just, you know, bouncy and fucking jiggly and it was dope. And then they softened everything up and made it car like and then like they did now how they do with the pickup trucks. The pickup trucks are eighty fucking thousand dollars. You know why? Because people who are not using them for construction or anything else, like for real men's fucking work, are complaining that they're not plush. So they make it now they fucking eighty grand. Listen. If you're going to buy a car, do your fucking research. Do your fucking research. Buy the right car for you. But don't complain about shit and saying, oh, the reviewer didn't say this to me. Motherfucker. You, you, you see how big the fucking tires are on these shits? Look at this fucking tire. That's like a 35. I think you can put up to 37s on that shit. 
how the fuck you think that's gonna ride? Look how knobby those tires are. That's gonna make noise. Blum, 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 blum. Yeah. The motherfuckers who started that shit did not give a fuck about the noise. They don't give a fuck about fucking sound deadening material. <sighs> this was a very long rant. I know. I say I've been so fucking tired lately, and and I need to get shit off my chest. And this is this is helping chat. This is fucking chat. This is fucking helping. Oh, I miss you guys though, man. I miss you guys a lot. You know, you guys, I can talk to y'all. You guys understand me. Y'all get me. You know what I'm saying? But man, I had to get that off. That just bothered the fuck out of me. But the DB12. If I'm going to get a proper vehicle for myself, that's a touring car, that's what that DB2, I think it has up to maybe 500 horsepower. Um, that's enough for me. 400 is great for the road. Nothing more than that you just really need it. Yeah. You want passing power, you know, but you don't need, you know. And don't get me started on these fucking Dodge Demons and, and, and the Challengers and the Chargers in Atlanta. <sighs> I, uh, yeah, it's just not. And and the Teslas, the Teslas are the new Ultimas here in Atlanta. I'm not sure in any other city. If you guys in different cities, let me know. But the Teslas are taking over for the fucking Ultimas. That are Model Three, the Model Three is becoming a new Ultima. But that motherfucker's fast, <laughs> off the rip. That motherfucker, and they handle pretty decently too. So, you know, Tesla. I gotta give my shout out to Tesla. They, they that Model Three. Is fucking for reals, for reals. But, um, chat, like, I'm tired, man. It's been crazy. I know, I know, I know. 